Hello everyone and welcome to this API Doc tutorial tailored for front-end developers. Today we will explore API Doc, an all-in-one collaborative API development platform designed to support your team through every crucial step of the API lifecycle. From the initial design and debugging to automated testing, documentation and more. In this tutorial, we'll explore three primary functions of API Doc that can enhance your front-end development workflow. So here's what we'll cover today. We'll start by showcasing how to send a API request with API Doc, how to read and use API documentation, how to mock APIs step-by-step, -step, including static, dynamic, and conditional responses. And we will also explore some of the advanced features like customizing mock data, cloud mocks, and mock scripts. So if you ever struggle with incomplete backend APIs and need a way to test your front-end responses without waiting, this tutorial is for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so now I have switched back to our API Doc desktop app. For this tutorial today, I'm gonna use these demo projects. So let me open this project. And now if I just want to make a simple API request, I can select this new request option and just paste my URL in. And later on, if I need it, I can also configure the query parameters, bodies, headers, or authorization from these options as well. Afterwards, I can just simply send this request to get a response. As you can see here, a response body is already available, which also shows me the status code and how long does it take me to get this response. Other than that, API Doc also supports many other protocols like gRPC. Also, you will find the GraphQL and message pack from this option. So this makes it versatile for the modern front-end needs. So understanding the API endpoints and the endpoint specification is crucial for front-end developments. So if your backend developers is already using API Doc to design the endpoint specification, then you can also collaborate with them to generate a detailed API documentation from this share docs option. From here, just create a quick share. Later on, I can just simply save this one to get a link, which I can open in my browser. And this will comes up with a beautiful generated API documentation for me, as you can see here. And once I have the documentation, I can also directly try it out from this option. And here I can simply send a request to get a response and see how my API behaves. I can also configure some of the simple parameters and also play around with this API endpoint. Other than that, we also offer request code samples generated in several languages, as you can see here, which can be copied very easily and also used in your development process. And if needed, you can also generate the schema code from this option in different languages, uh, which makes it easy and saving you the hassle of manual parsing. So now I will head over to our API Doc desktop app once again and we will explore our advanced smart mock function in details. So if your backend developers is using API Doc to design this endpoint specification but they haven't developed it yet, so you can use our smart mock function which will come in handy for the front-end development process. So here, as you can see, they're in the mock area with three options available here. First option is the local mock option. So this run on your own PC and this is ideal for individual testing. Then we also offer a cloud mock option, which will be useful for the team collaboration. And this provides a persistent and accessible solution for your team. And these shared URLs can be used for collaboration and also you can use this to create a sandbox environment for the public API documentation. And if you like to use this cloud mock option, you can turn it on from this settings, feature settings, mock settings, and you will find the cloud mock option here. If you turn it on, you can also have this cloud mock option available in your API doc uh, endpoint specification. Other than that, we also offer a self-hosted mock option. So this is an advanced feature for internal and private networks. And this is perfect for the control environment with the specific security need. So from here, just simply copy a URL and then go back to your browser and paste this URL. And as you can see, the data is already out. So this is how simply you can generate and have a working mock APIs. So API Doc generates this reasonable responses based on your API specification without needing for you to configure anything in detail. Alternatively, let's say your backend developers is not using API Doc and they're just sharing an open API specification with you. You can also import them from this option by just selecting the import tab, which will be available under settings and import data option. And also have this mock URL generated from that, uh, like this pet store example I was talking about. 
and then also utilize our smart mode function from this option. Other than that, let's say you only have a JSON file or a JSON schema file, uh, you can also use our new endpoint option and you can add an endpoint path here and directly head over to our responses section where you can use that JSON or JSON schema file to generate the data schema from this option. So you can just simply paste your JSON file here or maybe your JSON schema file which will also have the conditional logic included in it and that's how you can also import it in the response data schema and just simply saving this one you can also get a mock url which you can also utilize to generate the realistic mock data on this option now let me get back to my first api endpoint and in this api endpoint specification now let's say you wanted to add some of the conditional logic to it you can also do so from this edit option and if i go down here now here as you can see there's been a small conditional logic added to it so for example i wanted the number to be an integer and then i configured the minimum value should be one and the maximum value let's say i want it to be hundred thousand and if i press ok and then save this one then later if i go back to my mock url here and you can see every time i will send this one this will maintain that logic to give me the code here now again let's say if i wanted to have an aesthetic return other than a mock value i can also configure that from this settings option and again head over to the mock settings where i can select this response example first and then it will prioritize my advanced mock expectation in the beginning and then the response example and then it will go to the smart mock option and if i simply use the smart mock first then it will be following this logic as you can see here and later on you can also have some of the advanced option added to it and you can do so from this mock option here you can also find those mock url but if required you can also add a mock expectation to it here so you can add new mock expectations and also configure the parameters condition you can add a json body here and also you can add some of the conditions like the ip conditions from this option if required and other than that let's say for more of the complex uh, mock scenario you can also use a mock script and use a custom script based on your requirements to configure and add it here in your api endpoint specification and after configuration your mock data as you can see here will come out as the way you configured it and as you want it to be so as you can see everything is very configurable and very easily from our intuitive interface as you can see here so this is how you can configure the custom mock and our smart mock function in api doc so now you have learned how to use api doc to send api request read documentation and create sophisticated mock apis so you can use our tools to create the complete front-end features even before your API is ready and you can auto-generate the mock data without any configuration. So feel free to visit our API doc website to see more details. You can also visit our API doc documentation from docs.apidoc.com and also check out more of the advanced features and see if you find it useful. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow developers. And if you have any questions or feedbacks, please drop them in the comment section below. And don't forget to explore API Doc for more features. Thanks for watching.